Hi guys, it's Louisa, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a Disney holiday gift guide. And if you're looking for the perfect gift that is also affordable for a Disney lover in your life, then you are at the right place. So keep watching. <laughs> So there's actually a lot of Disney merchandise out there and sometimes it can be kind of hard to decide what to get the Disney lover in your life for the holidays. And some Disney merchandise can be pretty expensive. This gift guide, <laughs> the highest price point is $30 and under. I have three different price points for you guys and hopefully these will give you some great ideas for some unique products and I also will be featuring some small shops such as shops on Etsy. So definitely hope this gift guide helps. So let's just launch right on into it, shall we? My first price point is $5 and under. And what is the main thing that you can buy that is Disney related that is $5 and under? It's gonna be stickers. So you might be like, you can't really do much with a sticker. That's not actually true. You can put a sticker on a notebook or something like that for somebody, or people just like stickers. They can put them where they want, um, but you can also use it as a do-it-yourself kind of gift or, or something like that as well. And stickers are quite possibly the cheapest option if you want to get uh, some Disney merch. Now, I really love finding Disney stickers on Etsy, and I'm going to show you some that I recently purchased for myself from the Etsy store Golden Girl Crafts, and all the shops that I talk about will be linked down below in the description. So definitely check out this shop if you are interested. But I bought these for myself, the first one is this Belle with Chip one. This one was $4 and I love it because Belle's my favorite Disney princess and I didn't have any stickers or I don't think any pins or anything really of her. So I saw this and definitely wanted it. Then another one that I got for myself that was also $4 is this one of Max as Powerline and Roxanne. And we have the quote from the song Stand Out. And it says, there's nothing I would that I wouldn't do if it was getting you to notice I'm alive. Stand Out is one of my favorite Disney songs and just favorite songs of all time, along with Eye to Eye. I love a goofy movie. And this scene is just awesome. And to find a sticker that features that was, <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> and the last one I have from her is this one of Thor and Loki and it says let's do get help and this is in reference to a scene in Thor Ragnarok and uh, it's it's hilarious and I really enjoy that. And again this sticker was also four dollars. A lot of Etsy stores and stores that do stickers do do free shipping that's not always the case uh, and also if you purchase multiple stickers sometimes they will offer free shipping so those are just some ideas. And if you're looking, if you really want to give someone a gift that involves stickers, but you don't wanna just give them the stickers, here's something I recently made for myself that you can definitely make for someone else. So this is a like little collage of red things that I love and that make up me. In the middle, I have my YouTube name. And then I had a bunch of stickers that I got from a local store for a dollar. I got the Ant-Man one, the Coca-Cola one, this red one, uh, and then this lipstick one and this YouTube one. And then I actually do have a few stickers on here that are from Etsy stores. This Apple one down here, this mini Apple, is from Tangled Thread Studio on Etsy. And then this one with the Expedition Everest flags is from Upon a Star Supply Co. And the Apple one was $3 and then this one was $4. And what I like about this is it showcases my personality and things that I love. And the other things like came from, you know, magazine clippings or uh, things that I cut out of like old calendars and stuff like that. And this frame was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I just made a little something for myself and you can do that for someone else. Give them the gift of kind of a little collage of things that makes them them and you can include some Disney stickers as well and I just think that's a really cute personal gift that shows how much you know someone and you're putting those stickers to use so that is my best idea for a gift that's five dollars and under the next price point is ten dollars and under and the first thing that I'm going to talk about is Disney pins 
Disney pins or Disney pin collecting has been around since the early 2000s and there are so many different Disney pins out there and you can get them at the Disney parks but you can also get them on Shop Disney at the Disney store and then you can also uh, trade with cast members if you have one you can trade with cast members in the parks and then a lot of people uh, are a part of Facebook groups or like online trading groups for Disney pins so uh, that's a really fun community to be a part of so this is one that I got this is one of the Christmas pins for this year one of the official Disney parks ones and it is a Star Wars one of the Jawas uh, wrapping up R2-D2. I just thought this was so cute. I'm a sucker for funny Star Wars pins, so I just had to have this one. And what's great about this is that the starting price point for pins at the Disney parks is $9.99. So that's actually pretty affordable. This is a nice looking pin, I enjoy it. And what's great about Disney Parks pins is that you can trade them with the cast members, as I said. So as long as um, they have kind of the official uh, Disney pin trading on the back and kind of have that Mickey ear, um, or that Mickey kind of uh, coating on the back, then you can trade those with cast members and other Disney fans. As I said, you can get pins from Shop Disney, the Disney store, at the parks, and then you can also trade online. But if you wanna find some older pins, I would check out eBay or Mercari. As I said, there have been pins, Disney pin collecting has been going on since the early 2000s, I think since 1999, correct me if I'm wrong. And so there's a lot of older pins that newer collectors or newer pin traders haven't you know, seen or had the ability to get. And if you check out eBay and Mercari and make sure that you're buying from a reputable seller, then I think that that is a great way to show a Disney fan in your life some love and get them something that they weren't expecting. A pin of their favorite character or one about their favorite attraction or one about their favorite park. Disney pins are so versatile and there's so many out there. So I feel like with pins, you can't really go wrong. And again, the starting price point is generally $9.99. So not too bad. Another gift idea that is $10 and under are Disney wishables. And I have a bag of the Beauty and the Beast wishables, which up until this past Wednesday was the most recent Wishables release. So what's great about Wishables is that they, let me show you my uh, bell one, uh, is that they are small plushes. Who doesn't love a good Disney plush? But what's nice about these is that they don't take up very much space. They're very small, they're very cuddly, they're adorable and they're great. And what's fun about Wishables is that they come in these mystery bags. So you can generally, you can get one out of four in a particular mystery bag and sometimes there's a variant so sometimes there's more options you can get uh you could get five possible options or six so it just kind of depends on the series and what uh options are available but then what's also cool is that each series has one that doesn't come in the mystery bag and is sold separately so for the beauty and the beast series it was beast so isn't he cute that's pretty adorable you can get wishables at shop disney the disney store disney parks as i said and right now i think there is an even better reason to get wishables as a gift for your disney lover this season and the main reason why is because disney just released the aladdin wishable set it's based off of the magic carpets or um that aladdin attraction in magic kingdom and walt disney world and what is amazing about this particular wishable set which hasn't been accurate for any of the other past collections is that 100 percent of the purchase price will go towards make a wish so if you get a mystery bag of the aladdin series or you get the genie which is kind of the equivalent to like the beast where it's sold separately if you get that all of all $9.99 of the price of a wishable will go towards make a wish so that is awesome you can feel good about a purchase like that while also giving a disney fan something that they might really enjoy so i would definitely check those out those are on shop disney disney store out now they came out just a few days ago as i'm filming this so definitely check those out and the last price point that i'm going to talk about or a specific price point that i'm going to talk about is $30 and under. What's a good thing you can get for $30 or under that's Disney related? 
ears. So these are the peppermint candy Christmas ears. And I, uh, these are Disney park ears. Disney park ears are $29.99. And again, you can kind of get them in the park shop. Disney just kind of depends on what's available. Uh, and what's fun is that these are the Christmas ears. They do release Halloween ears and they also have ears that are, you know, just one color or something like that. So you can get ears, um, via, you know, your normal Disney stores and whatnot, but you can actually find them for cheaper and kind of get something that's more unique and more specific on different Etsy shops. So this is one of my absolute favorite pairs of ears. I got this in my, uh, friends giving box swap. This was given to me by Susan, AKA Twinkling Beauty. And she got this pair of ears from Sierra's Treasure Cove. And what I love about this is Winnie the Pooh is my favorite character. And so I don't think Disney really has any Winnie the Pooh ears. But what's great about Etsy is there are so many wonderful ear shops where you can get specifically what you're looking for. If you're looking for ears that are a specific color, if you're looking for ones that detail um, a specific character, if you want a season, um, and you can find them for cheaper or just with different uh, textures, different qualities. I would definitely check Etsy out because you can get some really unique ears for a great price. And I do think that the Disney park ears are amazing as well. And Disney lovers love being able to show off their ears. Uh, ears are something that a lot of Disney uh, lovers collect, so you can't go wrong with that. And the final thing that I'm going to say that I think is a affordable gift and works for really any price point is of course a Disney gift card. Now I know some people may feel bad about giving gift cards because you're not giving them a specific gift. You're like, oh, you know, it looks kind of generic. But honestly, giving a gift card is great. Um, that way they are able to pick exactly what they want. You can make sure that they don't get something that they already have and they can use it when they want. You know, maybe right now there's not anything that they're really looking for, but then hey, come April time, they release a brand new set of ears and they're like, oh, I have that gift card that my awesome friend gave me back for Christmas and I'm ready to go. And then they're able to go get them. So honestly, Disney gift cards are a great way to go. And what's great about that is you can put whatever limit you want, as long as it's like $5 and over, I believe. <laughs> I hope that this gift guide was helpful to you guys. I really tried to make the price points affordable and give you guys different options. So let me know down below if you thought this gift guide was a good one. Definitely let me know. I am planning on doing a few other gift guide videos. So I would appreciate any of the feedback. But thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below what you would like as a Disney lover, if you are a Disney lover for Christmas and other holidays as well. Let me know. I love to hear holiday wish lists and what everyone's kind of hoping for. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one. I upload every Tuesday and Saturday. And then if you want even more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at Louisa.Ruby. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye-bye.